In this edition of Useful Websites, I'll show you sites for photo editing, coding, and a very cool music site, along with several others that may be useful for you. Many of these were suggested by viewers in the previous videos in this series. Thank you all for your suggestions. With that out of the way, let's get started. First up is Unfurler, which will show you what is hiding behind those suspicious and potentially dangerous looking links. They usually start out with bit.ly, tinyurl, ow.ly, and there are several others. When you find one of these links, like this one here, that starts out with bit.ly, copy it, and then head over to the Unfurler site, and then paste it, and then click check it. It will now show you the URL that shortened link will take you to. Below that is a lot of information, but if you scroll down the page quite a bit, you'll find a link here for VirusTotal. So you can check the URL to see if it is safe. So I'll click on it right now. According to VirusTotal, it has a detection ratio of zero out of 65, which looks very good. The next time you want to see what's behind a shortened link, go to Unfurler. Next up is BeFunky, which is a photo editor that is very similar to PicMonkey that I showed you in one of the previous videos. To get started, select Photo Editor. You have the option to upload one of your photos or use one of theirs. I'll select one of theirs for now. Along the left-hand side, you'll see several tools to enhance your photo. With most of these, by selecting one of the tools, you simply just have to move the slider and then select the check mark. When you're done, you can select Save to save the photo to your computer, Be Funky, Facebook, Google Drive, and Dropbox. And you can also share on Facebook, Pinterest, Tumblr, and Twitter. They also have a collage maker and a designer tool with several templates. Be Funky is free, and they do offer a premium version with additional features starting at $2.91 per month. PrivNote is a site that will allow you to send messages that will self-destruct after they are read. It's really simple to use. Write your note. The default option is to automatically destroy your note after it's been read. If you select Show Options, you can change that to one hour from now all the way up to 30 days from now. You can also create a password for you and the recipient and you can be notified by email after the note has been destroyed. Select Create Note. Here, you can copy the link, email the link, or opt to destroy the note now. PrivNote is free and is an easy way to send secret messages that can only be seen and read by you and your recipient. Boiled the Frog is for those of you that use the Spotify music streaming service. It lets you create playlists that will gradually take you from one music style to another. You enter in two music artists. Weezer and Lady Gaga are the defaults when you land on their page. I'll start off with ABBA and go to another extreme with Metallica. And then select Boil the Frog. Now you'll see the playlist will start off with ABBA, gradually changing music styles and ending with Metallica. If you want to save this playlist to Spotify, select Save This Playlist. Then just log into your account to finish saving your playlist. Boil the Frog is a crazy way to create Spotify playlists. JobScan is a tool that gives job seekers an instant analysis of how well their resume is tailored for a particular job. I'll be using the resume and job description provided by JobScan to demonstrate. The first step is to paste your resume, then paste the entire job description text, then select Scan. It will now go through an analysis of what is good on your resume and what can be improved. Here it says the word count is too long and shows words to avoid on the resume. As you scroll down through the page, it will give you additional information. JobScan gives you a one month free trial after the trial ends, it is $89.95 every three months or $49.95 per month. Quant is a European-based search engine like DuckDuckGo and StartPage that claims to be privacy-focused. 
they don't store or sell your information, and they don't use cookies. When you do a search, it gives the results in a three pane layout consisting of the web search, news, and social. Along the left side, you have more options to filter your results, including images, videos, shopping, and music, which is in beta right now. Quant is a great looking search engine that is now featured as one of the defaults for the Brave web browser. Highbrow is a non-traditional learning site designed for those people that have busy lives. The lessons are five minutes long, delivered over 10 days directly to your email inbox. They now have more than 300,000 learners with more than 200 courses available for you to choose from. Those categories include arts, business, tech and coding, along with several others. To begin, select a course. They'll provide a brief description of that course, and when you're ready, select Start Course. On this page, you'll need to enter in your email and then select Start This Course. After you do that, you'll now receive a new lesson in your email every day over the next 10 days. Only one course can be taken at a time. They offer many courses for free. For the premium courses, they offer a free month trial. After that, you can choose the monthly plan, which is $10 per month, or be billed $48 once a year, which works out to $4 per month. Free Code Camp is a nonprofit coding site for those of you that want to become computer programmers. Just like the many other programming sites I've mentioned in the past, this site offers lessons in several skills, including HTML5, JavaScript, Node.js, and many others. And if you need help, they have a useful forum to get help from other developers. So if you want to learn how to code for free, Free Code Camp is another great resource. Staying in the computer programming category, Geeks for Geeks is another great resource. There is so much to learn on this site, from the basics of algorithms and data structures to programming languages, along with several other categories on their site. Before you go to an interview with a prospective company, you may want to check out their interview experiences section to find out how others fared during the interview process with many companies, including Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and others. Geeks for Geeks is truly a computer science portal for geeks. Last but not least is RefDesk. Founded in 1995, with its outdated looking homepage is a great place to visit to find web-based resources in dozens of categories. I've been coming to the site for years just to check out their site of the day, fact of the day, and other random information. So if you're looking for additional web-based resources, check out RefDesk. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you know of a useful website not mentioned, let me know in the comments. If you haven't done so already, be sure to click the subscribe button and bell notification icon for more useful websites and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.